Hello and welcome back to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to talk about the domain abstraction factories. So, as name suggests, these are to create uh, new objects or you can say value objects, aggregate routes uh, or entities you want to create, then you use the factories. So, if you have already gone through a design pattern, so factory is one way to create an object and factory is a design pattern. So, this is the same concept is implemented here. So that is exactly same you have to use it and how do you use in your domain driven design how do you create a factory to create a or get a new aggregate route or entity that is what you would be doing it here basically open when you need a factory method for an aggregate route it will be rolled into the repository so we'll discuss repository in the next session so i'll not uh, go on this statement right now so usually factory also implemented as an interface within a domain or domain service layer so uh, e I would highly recommend learn factory design pattern then you then only you would be able to understand this line clearly uh, like this is implemented as an interface into the domain service layer with an uh, implementation logic will be defined in an infrastructure layer infrastructure layer is when we uh, talk about the hexagonal uh, hexagon uh, implementation uh, of a DDE then we would be are uh, talking about the uh, infrastructure layer in detail but it, it's an uh, related to uh, basically to interacting with the your uh, you can see uh, persistence layer or something that is what you can see as an infrastructure layer usually factories are implemented as a domain interface which are more uh, which one or more concrete implementation which could have creation of new objects are not very simple you need to create an aggregate root entities or value object from the classes which is defined and what it should contain or something so that is what factory you can implement factory has a again or two things like abstract factory and factory method so you need to learn both the design pattern uh, abstract factory and factory design pattern uh, what exactly it does so here we are talking about the factory but uh, I would highly recommend uh, go for the abstract factory as well. Uh, this is very well uh, in, uh, used uh, when you create a domain driven design. So you need to know uh, factory design pattern very well. Uh, in some session, I'll try to cover the factory design pattern, but not now. So I would highly recommend it is easy to understand, not that complicated. So you can easily uh, work on that. Correct? Creating a new domain object may lead to connect with the external system. Correct? Whenever you want to create a new object, you want to get existing information which is stored in the cache or in a database or somewhere. Correct? So you will get it from there. When uh, we create a new reservation, we need to assign a unique ID because the reservation has a unique ID to reservation. So that may be calling another REST API and then you get the id from the like if suppose it's a sequence in the database then you need to get the next sequence id from the database to assign as an identifier for that reservation so this uh, you would be calling so that kind of complexity happens and you need a factory design pattern for this implemented what does it mean correct or uh, let's say if you are going to create a reserva new reservation or uh, request game you need to create a reservation object but to create a reservation object you need an identifier uh, because this is an entity if you need an identifier this identifier is a sequence in the database which already one two three four is already there and next should be fifth five should be assigned so here you would be calling some service like rest service or something to get the detail of the id then only you would return that object so that entire logic you can implement it to the factory to get this api call written the id and then any other information which is needed so actual logic uh, which is to create this object can be implemented actual logic of domain object creation resides in the factory concrete implementation correct factory is a abstract interface like when you want to create an object like uh, depend like you want to create object from the cache then you use the cache switch or reservation factory if you want to create object from the database then you use the db reservation factory and this is an abstract interface you would implement it so which one to be used that is all dependent and you can decide in the runtime like i should use the cache one or i should use the uh, uh, database one correct so that is what uh, it is uh, you need to understand the factory design pattern how it works so that is exactly same it is here so if we uh, know the crud operation correct create read update and delete so in in a create is the part of the factory which take care of this correct read update delete is not part of the factory design pattern only create is the uh, of your crud operation is a uh, like you can say it's a factory so like for ex some example here when server creates an order in the system they include some basic information such as order id server id and table number so you need order id you need server id you need table number so how do you get this information this is the responsibility of the factory 
uh, concrete implementation to get the detail and assign it and give it back to you the new uh, order uh, which is having this all information populated correct so that is what factory design pattern can do this creates a record in the database for the order you can implement this logic into the order factory abstractions factories and repositories are basically used to handle your aggregate routes which we discussed previously when you create a new cake you need an ingredients what are these ingredients those ingredients are your uh, in the cake when you create a, uh, so this is a cake correct you want to create it so these are my ingredients eggs so uh, uh, this like this a spoon and a spoon is not ingredient it, it needs to create a cake basically correct and other stuff which is to creating i'm not good at recipe but uh, these are all ingredients you need to know or uh, like when you need to create a cake correct uh, factory helps you create new aggregates when a uh, creation logic is complex enough always use factory as an aggregate uh, as a, i mean uh, here like abstract factory pattern you should use it and that way you should implement it correct so that is what the factory design pattern so creating a new entities value object or aggregate route you need to use a factory design pattern and this is very very uh, important you learn factory design pattern if you don't know then you cannot uh, implement this you must uh, know this being an architect or senior developer you must know the factory design pattern otherwise your life would be uh, tough as a programmer you must know the factory design pattern uh, now moving to the next okay I i'll stop here uh, repository i'll cover in next session thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. I'm stopping now. Thank you.